Hey everyone, here's a quick video on how I created these three color ombre chrome nails. I used my Archon mount to film this video and you can use discount code Nails by Nikki for 20% off. So I start by priming the nail, it's already been prepped and before I apply product, I prime again. So I'm just going to do a clear base coat over this and that keeps the colors from staining the natural nail bed. So I put the colors down. Um, just in a random manner they are in color order but I don't care if they are precise in where I'm putting them because I am going to be putting chrome over this so I just put them down and I'm going to kind of fade them down but I do while they're not needing to be perfect I didn't want them to have a swirly marble look so I am going to go in and kind of you know clean it up a little bit to give it just that vertical ombre that I was kind of going for also, I did leave this video in real time because I wanted you to see the application as I really did it. While the product is still wet, I'm going to go in with smaller beads of each color that I need to to kind of make that section as opaque as I want it to be and clean it up to make the vertical lines more straight, but again, not perfect because I want them to blend a little bit and I didn't want it to be perfect because I'm going to put the chrome over it. I'm also mindful when I'm working to keep my sides neat so that I don't have so much filing later. When I place my first ombre bead, I put it right on top of where the color ends so that I can really cover up and there's not a harsh line and then I fade it down over the brighter colors. Again, I did not care if this was a perfectly blended ombre because there was going to be chrome over it. So this was really just kind of getting the product on there and getting the idea of what I wanted it to look like at the end completed. Just like with the colors, with my cover color, if I have any spots that I need to add a little bit to, I just take a smaller bead and go in and add that bead wherever it's needed if I need to do that more than once I will I'm not really a one ball kind of tech not even two or three if I need to add product somewhere I'm going to add it after I'm done with the colors I go and I cap the design in clear and I always put it over the thinnest area first which is going to be where my colors are at the tip because I only wanted enough of those to get the color on the nail. You don't really have much strength in color powders, so I always cap my colored acrylic designs in clear. And I'm gonna cap the full nail in clear so that when I file it, I'm not filing away that cover color as well. thing I said with the cover powder if I need to go in and add beads somewhere I will because at this point this is when I'm building my structure the colors and the cover powder were really just the base to my design I'm adding this clear to give my nail structure and again making sure I keep my sides cleaned up and not bulging over the side you don't want nails that are muffin topping over the finger Now I'm going to go in with my e-file and get nice and tight in that cuticle area. I want it to look really flush with the natural nail as if it's growing directly from the finger. I'll go over the surface of the nail, over the free edge, everything to make it a nice smooth surface and get around those corners because again you don't want your nails bulging over the top of the finger and giving that kind of muffin top effect. This is a fine tapered carbide bit. I just bought it at a local nail supply store. Um, I buy these pretty frequently because this is my favorite bit to get around the cuticles with. And I pretty much do my pre-finished filing with this. I do the bulk of it with this and then I will go over the nails with a file if needed and a buffer. So now at this point I'm going in with my hand file. And I don't have to do a whole lot of filing because I tried to make sure I kept my sides in check when I was applying product and I also used tips 
so I definitely kept everything nice and as neat as I could and I go really slow around here because it's so easy to cut your client when you're filing like this but I get right up against that nail and I hold my finger there and pull that skin down so that I can get a nice crisp shape but I have also taken the sharp edges off of my file after I'm done with filing the sides I go over the tip of the nail to make sure it's a nice straight line and I line them up by each other by the cuticle so that I can make sure they're all the same length and that everything's the same shape with length all that good stuff My next step is going to be to buff the nail and just like with my my bit when I'm buffing I make sure I get nice and tight in that cuticle area because again I want that to be very smooth and flush so that it looks like it's growing straight out. When I'm done buffing, I will either have the client go wash with a manicure brush or I will just use some alcohol. And now I'm going over the nail with my Aora Chrome Bond and that's what my chrome is going to stick to. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the light and take it back out and I'll apply this chrome more heavily at the tip and then lightly fade it down towards the cuticle to give it that ombre effect. And for this one, I did use a hollow chrome, but at the end, I'm going to show a picture where I also used a rainbow chrome over the same design. After I've applied the chrome, I'll use a brush to dust off the excess, and I'm going to use the Aora grip base to go over it, and that keeps your chrome from, like, fading off the edges. And then I top coat it, and I am done with this design. I hope you enjoyed it. Tag me if you give it a try.